He wants me to go do hit cardio. Like high intensity. Like fucking bike and shit. Yeah, like row. Like get on the row machine. Oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that not gonna fucking pull your legs? I don't think, like, like you know, like a row machine. Yeah, but you press, like, you do push your leg and then row, right? Yeah. You said try to do that in ropes. So I was like, fuck. So you're a CrossFit athlete now, basically. Uh, all right. Wait, will you hand me my water? What is up, people? It is Wednesday, September 27th. Today, in 30 minutes, I'm supposed to be hitting legs. However, unfortunately, yesterday, when I was getting out of the row machine, like the seated row with the cable that we do, insert clip of row. <laughs> Got you. I uh, I was standing up and it like pulled me over and I just planted my foot really hard and I felt like a pop in the bottom of my hamstring so didn't really think too much of it it was definitely tender at the time woke up today super stiff just to walk if I try doing like an isolated hamstring curl while I am just chilling like just standing with no weight it kind of causes pain so hit up Ariel hit up my massage therapist got both their opinions got Nick's opinion and the general consent census was let's not train legs let's play it smart lift to lift another day so i asked ariel because today's a high carb day I said well i'm eating a substantial amount of food tomorrow's a rest day i can't really do two rest days in a row so do you want me to go train upper body do you want me to do this or that and his response was i would like you to go do some hit cardio so a little bit different i probably haven't done hit cardio in five years maybe six it's been probably since i was 20 19 so it's been a long long ass time so we're, i don't even know how it's really gonna go just gonna try to get my heart rate up and just think we're gonna try to do rows with some like battle ropes and yeah so there's gonna be a learning curve it'll be a fun thing to like switch it up for the video but yeah so no fun but we still we still keep moving forward so gonna get this shit done super exciting super excited as you guys can tell by my demeanor to go do this so i'm gonna sit for a second because normally i let my food i don't really care for my food to digest like crazy long but if i'm gonna go do some goddamn wind sprints <laughs> i want to make sure my food is decent deep in my stomach so anyway uh yeah that's what we we got on for the docket we are on our way to dragon's lair i was telling taylor it's like i'm excited to do something different and hard because i know that this is gonna whoop my ass i've been trying to figure out what to do i don't really know like what's an ambitious amount of hit cardio like is 20 minutes gonna be hard is 30 minutes gonna be hard so I found a little rowing hit cardio just like on the internet. Um, it's like a 20 minute workout, like 30 seconds on, 60 seconds on, then 30 seconds on, 45 seconds off, then 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. You do that for like 16 rounds or something like that. So I'm gonna try that out. Maybe throw in some battle ropes at the end of that. Really, I'm just trying to whoop my ass. That's my goal right now. I'm not necessarily the he wants me to burn as many calories as I would normally burn in a workout. And I burn a lot of calories when we're training legs. So I'm just going to try to empty the tank. Um, I'm wearing my heart rate monitor so I can kind of get some sort of range of where my calories are at and then uh, go from there. But I am also excited to listen to music for the first time in God knows how long because we don't listen to music, unfortunately. Well, it's good because we're getting training cues, but ass because I love music. So, gonna bump some new rap, get my Eminem fix for the day, and then uh, go home and beat my wife. <laughs> so, they don't have a row machine here. So, I'm gonna use the assault bike. First round, I'm gonna go 30 seconds on, a minute off, or like low like this. Then I'll go 30 seconds on again. Then I'll do 30 seconds, 45. Then I'll do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, followed by like a, I don't know, like some sort of sprint at the end. So, gonna crank this out now and get going.
Fuck. Ooh. 20 minutes. Down on this hall bike. Is that fun? So ass. <laughs> gonna do four sets of 20 on this. I'm gonna do four sets of 20 on the leg raises when this guy's off of it too. Oh yeah, I got in here. When I walked in, I put this on just to like track my heart rate and everything. So calories were at zero and now they're at 1979. So 2000 calories burned in like under an hour. So like a half hour. So my heart rate is probably like high, pretty, probably pretty damn near close to 200. But feeling good, definitely was a tough, challenging thing, but still is a good time getting after it. Different kind of hard for sure. Honestly, for abs, I really only do two exercises. I do the hanging leg raises, which I'm about to do, and then the weighted crunches. A lot of people throw in all this extra shit. You're targeting exactly what you want to be doing on just the two exercises. No point of throwing in a bunch of exercises to target the same thing. So weighted crunches, upper abs, leg raises, lower abs. Don't touch obliques, you're just going to make your waist thick. So I do zero obliques. My obliques always come in, just these two movements. So if you want good abs, start adding these in every other day. All right, just wrapped up, hit cardio and abs. Definitely was ass. I did 25 minutes on the assault bike. They ended up not having a row machine. So went in with the expectation of a row machine, already dreading it. Purposely didn't want to do the assault bike because I knew it would be pretty hard. Went in, I wore my little Fitbit to try to calculate how much calories I was burning put it on before I got in there and now my Fitbit's saying I burned 2200 calories so obviously I pro I don't know how many I burned I doubt I burned 2200 but definitely definitely burned quite a few hit abs run through a little bit of posing um but I'm gonna go home stretch probably ice my leg might take a bath today and just soak in some Epsom salt um but yeah right now just it's a high carb day, so I have carbs with all of my meals. So I'm gonna go back, eat some food, and then I gotta go do my 40 minutes of cardio tonight after my fifth meal, so. That's what we got on for the rest of the day. Gonna get some shit done, probably. Um, gotta do a little bit of work, and yeah. Just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Dude, you forgot the most important thing we're doing. What are we doing? You gotta go beat your wife. Oh yeah, gotta go beat my wife. On my way to beat your ass. just wanted to kind of touch base <clears throat> on prep how things are going what's been different about this prep what I've liked what I haven't liked and honestly this prep has been pretty smooth sailing um, honestly I've been pretty low stress felt really good made a lot of progress I'm seeing like a lot of progress really quickly um, in terms of like readiness I would say like I'm ahead of the curb like eight pounds heavier than I was at this point point in time I'm also leaner so um, just in an overall good spot but I mean you know how it is the closer to show date you get the more susceptible you you are to like getting hurt so I kind of messed up my hamstring yesterday but you know today I improvised we did the assault bike and you know that was a banger you know that whooped my ass and that was much harder than legs <laughs> a little ambitious with the 25 minutes but you know you make these goals you come out you try to execute the best you can um if you want something bad enough you'll find a way through it without all the excuses and justifications to not do something so we're sitting at like three and a half weeks definitely the most tired and hungry i've been on a prep but you know i think that's reflective of just the training and the difference in that's what i'm looking for difference in intensity 
and just how much better I feel going into this. You know, I've maintained a lot more fullness. Chest and shoulders and fullness were always my critiques. So going into this, I'd say just the combination of training hard and being able to maintain that fullness while still leaning out has been a big game changer. So moving forward, kind of what we're looking at, this will probably come out after my show. We're down near close, but the goal right now is to still get down to 217. So that's nine more pounds to go. Uh, I got my cardio left right now i'm really only doing like 40 minutes i'll occasionally bump it up to an hour um for cardio i'm just doing 7.0 incline typically 2.8 speed i'll go as high as 3.2 but just a brisk walk brisk walk nothing super crazy a lot of people go way too hard on cardio you don't need that you're just going to cause a lot of inflammation um so yeah i feel super solid super Super excited to get on stage again and just show the differences made and the improvements that have been made. You know, I came off the LA show with uh, pretty pissed off. Right? Fucking dog. I came off the LA show, you know, um, obviously with like a lot of piss and vinegar in my mouth. So I uh, took that on the chin and I took it as an opportunity to get better. And I feel like I rose to the occasion. So super excited to just crank this bitch out. I'm very excited to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna take like a whole week off of training, whole week off of dieting the week after. I need a good mental break. I started prep for my April show, November 27th. So been going down near a year. So very excited to just wrap this bitch up. Sometimes I get more excited to eat than I do for the actual show. So we're just uh, gonna keep pushing, set new bars and reach new heights. And you know, we'll just get this bread. So that is all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for subscribing, liking, um, following and supporting on this journey. Please share if you found anything useful and uh yeah i appreciate you guys peace out bitches